Welcome back, y'all guys, uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, this one is titled Do Not Be Afraid of COVID Part 2.123. The reason I entitled it that way was because um, this is a halfway point of two, two and three. Okay, let's move on. Remember in part one, I talked about how you can tell the difference between fearing, fearing people about the virus. The way you can tell is our grocery stores and where people put their trust. Part two, I talked, I talked about how the virus is temper, temporary and how the Bible mentions there will be diseases in the land. I would be scared to be separated from God forever. Part 2.1, I'm going to continue where I left off. The other day, I talked about how worrying is not beneficial. Also, I gave an example of me doing a specific exercise. And if I did not do it completely right, that it was that it would not help me in the long run. Today, I'm going to focus on bringing these together because accepting Christ gives you security about the outcome of life. Like I talked about before, the human thing you call help can only stay with us for so long. So in other words, uh, when we get help from humans, it only can last so long. With our God being jealous, he'd rather see people go to heaven versus hell and be separated from him. The beauty of Christianity is accepting Christ is a free gift, and it doesn't have to be earned. earned. People just have to ask him because he wants people and he died for us. I know Christians know this. He did not die for us to be a good person. He did not die for me to volunteer at Grace Bible Church. He did not die for you to be a good person. The list goes on and on. Once accepting Christ, all those things should be given because you are generally more open and see what's going on because we all need help. Just because we accept Christ doesn't mean we are going to mess up. This learning thing about Christ is not an overnight thing. With us being human, we can still experience worry, anxiety, and much more. As I mentioned before, we cannot be scared of fearing the virus. Yes, we can experience nervousness because we see what it can do and what it has done, but there is no reason to go crazy and alter our life over it. The only thing we could do is be smart and not panic by what the media and the world have to bring. If God wanted to wipe out the world, like the whole world, he would have done it already. I know I previously mentioned this, although our God is loving, God events like these are a wake-up call. Even though we know how contagious COVID can be. This is the only time I think it is good to worry. For example, it is a, it is time to be smart and worry about your loved ones and people who you are surrounded with. It 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 is a good time to worry about the ones who are at a higher risk of dying, such as those with terminal illnesses, 
this is the time that Christians really need to shine as in being thoughtful and not careless with our actions. We know that the virus is real and out there. We just have to do our part. Other than that, other than this, worrying is not a good thing. Worry, anxiety, stress, and etc. are not beneficial for us uh, uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically. This actually wears on the body more than people believe. Also, people need to understand, and I'm not trying to make people nervous, but I think people may be more susceptible to getting the virus if you live in fear, doubt, stress, anxiety, craziness, etc. This right here takes a toll on your immune system. I'm speaking from my health perspective. We all have stressful times and can live stressful lives, but it can get out of control if the fears of this world constantly get to you. In this time of COVID-19, let's show the world who Christians really are. Besides telling people about God, the best we could do is, how do we handle the situation we're in and be smart about it? You never know if you will have that one person who asks you, why are you not scared and act differently? In other words, we may not always get that question, but if the question is asked, why are you not scared and act differently? Then, as First Peter 3.15 says, be prepared to give an answer. And I did not put this on my notes because uh, I wasn't thinking. But we need we need to make people understand that we are Christians and we know how to handle the situation. So let's get back on topic. I am not saying to go places without a mask to make yourself vulnerable and killing your grandma who has a, who has a heart or terminal illness in the weakened immune system. We all need we all need to eat for sure. Many of us go to H B to get food. Many of us have to get out for something, but you just never know when or if the person will ask. In other words, no matter where we are, we just got prepared to answer the question about why are you not scared and show people that we got God on our side. In my opinion, if the person asks, that will be the best opportunity to tell someone about Jesus. If, if that happens, just be smart about it. In other words, we could still tell people about Jesus and why are we not scared and stuff. I mean, we got to be smart in on that in social distancing. But like we could tell people about Jesus and where our trust lies. That's pretty much what this whole thing is talking about in a nutshell. And I understand that I... Uh, misspell things are grammatically incorrect. Sorry for that when I put the notes, but hopefully y'all will understand what I'm saying. Well, this is Carlos again, and thank you for watching my video. And if you like this content and you want to see more, just like and subscribe, and I'll be super happy because the notifications will go straight to your phone. Well, thank y'all, and have a blessed week. God bless y'all's day.